It's wedding season. Still is wedding season. You know, you get a, you get a lot of people getting married in the summertime, and that kind of spills over into the fall because the fall is a beautiful season. Perfect weather, perfect ambiance, the trees, the leaves, everything's beautiful, especially to have it outside. And I know a lot of you may wonder, why am I not married? And I'm not talking about me, I'm talking about you. Why are you not married? You go to these events and you want to be married. Think nothing, nothing else in the world would matter if you could just be married and have kids and live happily ever after. And you ask that question, you pose that question as if you don't have the answers. You have all the answers. You do have the answers. There's no... There's no superpower that's going to get you to where you need to be in order to get married. Uh, married. That is your responsibility. And getting married. The woman should come into the man's life and the woman should make the man greater. Vice versa, the man should come into the woman's life and make her greater. So ask yourself, what attributes do you have to make somebody great? What, just because you look good? Just because you cook and clean? But are you supportive? Do you talk too much? And do you talk about the wrong things? Can we have a conversation? And is that conversation contingent on what's on television? Or can we talk about some facts? Can we talk about history? Can we talk about some, some business avenues, some entrepreneur avenues that if we do happen to tie the knot, this is something that we can pass down from generation to generation. Hmm. Not to say that everybody that gets married is on that page, but for those that want to be married and you're looking for something solid. Now, statistics show that divorce is at an all-time high. Who's to say it's not going to slow down? I can't predict the future. Let me tell you this. So I'm on all types of social media to promote my comedy, to promote my business, both businesses. Um... To, grow, to draw awareness. And some of those sites are dating sites. And dating sites are hilarious. It's hilarious because it's a bunch of people looking for a bunch of fake people. For instance, there's this uh, female I saw on this uh, dating site. She, was, she said she was 5'5". Five five in height. She had a lot of makeup on. And there was before and after picture where you could tell that she had lost a lot of weight. Like she used to be morbidly obese. And I don't know if it was through gastric bypass. Or it was through clean eating, disciplined eating. I don't know. She managed to lose a lot of that. She had a, a an enormous amount of weave in her head. Sort of suspect. And her requirements for a man was that he had to be 6'1 or, or better. He needed to be athletically built. And he had to have a strong hairline. Uh, ma'am, you are one relapse away from getting back to being 300 pounds, unless you had your stomach removed, and in that sense, you can't even eat a whole sandwich if we go out on a date, so you're going to waste a lot of food. Not to discredit you or make fun of you, um, but that's kind of odd. And then for you to want a man that's 6'1", you're 5'5". Five 5'7 five. Five is taller than you, with heels on. Depending on if you want to break your ankles or not and get the big heels. Uh, and a hairline. That's really one thing that stuck out because with all the weave you got in your hair, chances are you probably look like George Jefferson up under that hair. So why are you looking for a man with a strong hairline? Is it so he can share some with you? This is the mentality that keeps you from being married. But nobody seems to be in the loop of understanding uh, and, and being accountable for their own happiness because we have been conditioned and trained to believe if we just do what's been done for centuries and, and traditionally, then we'll end up like our grandparents. We'll end up like our mom and dad even though half of them wasn't even happy. The definition of insanity is to continue doing the same thing expecting different results. Now, what I tell people all the time is whether it's male or female. Stop being a Flavor Flav type of person expecting an Idris Elba type of person to come into your life and fix you. Same with the fellas. You know, don't walk around looking like Biz Marquee 
and expect Jennifer Lopez in her prime, Holly Berry in her, well, Holly Berry fine today, uh, Holly Berry to come by and swoop you around and turn you into uh, that, that dude. Stop it. Doesn't make sense. If you want to sm- if you want an intellectual person, raise the bar for yourself. Become an intellectual. Become more intellectual as as you p- dig deep, read, study, go do do everything you can do. If you want an extremely athletic person, then guess who needs to get in the gym a little bit longer? Don't try to be a chicken and attract a horse. If you want a horse, then become that horse. I heard, I heard a, a, a woman say one day she met a guy and she was like, he's the perfect guy. He'll make her happy. He knows, but she has this idea of a man that he just doesn't equate to. And she said she knows that that's probably a fictitious character in the first place. Do you know how insane that sounds? I know a man that'll make me happy that'll do away with all, with all my loneliness. He'll be good for me, be a good father, be a good uh, husband. But he doesn't meet this qualification for this superhero that really, I know, that doesn't exist. So ask ask yourself, why are you single? Why? 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 Do, 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 do. This is how I feel whenever I hear somebody question why they sing. I just start Harlem shaking. Do, 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 do. I don't know why, because I'm petty like that. You have the power to rearrange your situation in a lot of situations. It's just up to what your mind says you can do. Um, I heard a lecturer say, the mind can only teach what the mind knows. Stop being afraid of information. Be accountable. And who knows, a year from now you look up, you would be married. Not only married, but you would be happily married. You won't feel rushed, you won't feel forced. The individual just naturally appear in your life because you're dwelling in the environment that is conducive for that of which you ask for. And, side note before I get out of here, ladies and gentlemen, stop asking for stuff that you don't really want. Huh? I know that to be true because in my life, I used to like the superficial video chicks. That's what I used to like because that's what I was programmed to like. And you wonder why, why every time... I I go out with this girl, she gets on my damn nerves. Why every conversation we have to have is about reality TV? I don't watch TV and I damn sure don't watch reality TV because it dumbs you down. Why would I don't why are we having these conversations? And I would get mad. Man, these women ain't nothing, man. I can't well no, Jamil, no, no, wait a minute. Your mentality ain't nothing because that's what you are going after and you don't even like what you're going after. So now I enjoy the women that I may come that may come into my life because we can have conversations about things that <laughs> some of you are afraid to have. That's life. And on that note, I'm signing out. I'm happy to be back. This is my first video in a while. Whew. Just got out the gym. I'm about to take a nap. Um, stocks and bonds. Shout out to my boys. And uh, hey, that's where we gonna leave it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? Tune back in, done son. Word is born, baby. We got more. We got more in store than what that came from. Just walk through the door. <laughs> Cause I said it before, you know what I mean? Word up. Hey yo, one love, peace out.